Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. Today I'm going to root a Samsung Galaxy S4. This one happens to be on AT&T. It is on Android uh, operating system uh, 4.3. Um, I know the Cricket Wireless One has just gotten the 4.3 update as well as of uh, the filming of this video. It should work on that in addition to this model and uh, not trip the Knox security. So you should be able to get it in a state where it doesn't look like you've uh, tampered uh, with the device in case you're trying to get warranty service on it. That being said, I'm at KingoApp.com. This is the program that I will be using to root this device. I've installed uh, Samsung uh, Keys 3 because that is what it says supports uh, Note 3 and devices with Android 4.3. I'll show you the version right here real quick. Let's go down and more to about device. Android version 4.3. You can see the build number there, MK2, uh, Mic Kilo 2, and the baseband version matching Mic Kilo 2. So I've downloaded this, installed it, Kingo root, kingoapp.com. Click download. It'll bring up this page. Go ahead and download it. Install it. Before you plug your device in, make sure you've uh, installed uh, Keys 3. So we're going to go ahead and launch the Kingo application. It says right here, not connected. It says please connect your device to computer via USB cable. Enable USB debugging mode on your device if unrecognized. You probably want to go ahead and enable that. Now, here's the developer options menu. If you don't see that, go to about device. It's one of the two, either the build number or the baseband number. I guess it's build number. Click that enough times, you'll see developer mode has already been turned on, or it'll say 3, 2, 1, and then they have enabled the developer mode. Go back out, you'll see developer options. Click that. USB debugging, enable that. Click OK after it gives you that warning. There were initial concerns with Kingo because they didn't know who put the application out and it looked like it was taking the IMEI or ESN of your device and sending it somewhere. Uh, they made a public announcement that they were going to change that in version 2 and I think there's no uh, known issues with it now. So I'm in USB debugging mode. Keys 3 has been installed. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my micro USB cord. It says connected as media device. If it pops up with this right here, you want to click OK, allow USB debugging. On our computer, it says connecting. Here's our device, Samsung SGH i337 in normal mode. Um, it had been root before, but an over there, update killed that root. It says root says no. Gives you a little information about root. So go ahead and click root. says rooting, wait for device, checking USB connection, fetching scripts, wait for device, download requisite dependency files, checking root status, download requisite depending files, waiting for device. Of course this is the AT&T version, should work with other devices out there. It's restarting the device. You see that custom uh, logo right there? You should be able to install some things and get that removed. I'll show that on my Note 3. I've already sold this device. We won't be seeing many uh, S4 videos from me. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to do these videos, so please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have a normal 9 to 5 job. That's not in the cellular industry. Allow the device to reboot and stabilize. At this point, the computer is waiting for it to be detected again.
him to allow this again, or you can click always allow this computer. We'll go ahead and click grant. And it pops up with that ADB shell. Here's checking the root status. Copy and root file to your device. Root succeeded. Please reboot your device to make it more stable. You can go ahead and close this application. I usually don't cut much out of these videos because I want to uh, show you guys realistically how long it takes to finish this process. I have this uh, program called Root Checker Basic installed. I'm going to click that. Verify root access. So I'll go ahead and unplug the micro USB. I'm going to allow this application root access. And it says, Congratulations, this device has root access. So this was the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 running Android operating system 4.3. Should work on devices like uh, the Cricut version. It doesn't trip this Knox counter that everyone's been talking about. So you should be able to do a few things and make it look like your device was never tampered with. Um, usually uh, people only care about that if they think they're going to have to get a warranty uh, service. Again, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to do these videos. Thanks a lot.